The Port Mosby General Hospital, including the PNG Kidney Foundation, are currently using a dialysis to treat kidney patients. Under this method, patients visit a dialysis center every three to four weeks and waste products and excess fluid from the blood are removed. It often involves diverting blood to a machine to be cleaned. However, this will be a story of the past when the kidney transplant facility is established at the Port Mosby General Hospital in partnership with the Kidney Foundation, the PNG government and the Birmingham Transplant Hospital in UK. According to the PNG Kidney Foundation founder, Sir Martin Poor, kidney transplant is fast, easy and convenient for a patient as it results in fast recovery, providing longer lifespan to kidney patients. We plan to have the first transplant service next year. Uh, the transplant service, I think, will be conducted by the Port Moxley General Hospital. We as an NGO is outside to assist on the dialysis. Professor Nick Instone, surgeon of Birmingham Hospital, who will assist with the expertise for the transplant service, further explained the disadvantage of a transplant. There's another form of renal replacement therapy. Not every patient can have a transplant. Some patients will need dialysis, but for those who can have a transplant, it offers a lot more freedom and a lot longer, better healthier life. Meanwhile, Deputy Chairman of the National Health Board, Dr. Matthias Sapuri, said the important part of the process now is to look at the policy and legislation of the government. We will work on the policy quickly and also the legislative component so that we can try as much as possible to push this through quickly before we have the next process of having the transport available next year. Tracy Part, TV1 News.